What I'm showing you right now is the Paideia School. This is the school that I attended during my junior and senior year. It's a posh, hoity-toity, uh, upper middle class, liberal school. It's a, a private school. It's a school where you call your teacher by their first name. You say, oh, I'm going to Jim's class today. Oh, really? Well, I've got I've got Sarah uh, for, for uh, algebra this year. And uh, so it's got this, you know, kind of hippie-ish um, pedigree or background. But really and truly, it's it's a uh, launching pad for the elite. Ooh, now, why did I go here my junior and senior year? Good question. Um, I wanted to go somewhere different than where I was going. I was going to a public school at the time. I thought I'd be happier here. Uh, I was a silly teenage liberal at the time carried around a copy of the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> that was me at age 16, 17, 18. Um, so why why was I showing you the Paideia School? John Ossoff, who's running for senator right now, attended the Paideia School as well. He is their favored son, I would assume. One would definitely assume. He was likely groomed at Paideia School for his uh, current uh, place of prominence that he's angling for. Now, uh, I am considerably older than John Ossoff. And to be fair, I don't know John Ossoff at all. Maybe he's a swell guy. Maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe he's not all bad. I don't know. Uh, we don't all find ourselves on the, on the wrong side of of uh, every issue for all the wrong reasons. So, I want to make that clear. This is not a hate message against John Ossoff, whom I don't know personally. I do know that Paideia School, whom you, which you just saw back there, uh, would, uh, while, they, while someone like John Ossoff is a favorite son of theirs, they would never, ever, ever claim me. They would deny that I attended. And if I were more famous or more infamous, you know, Richard Spencer-esque infamous, he had his own school uh, renounce uh, his, or, or, you know, basically say, you're not one of us anymore after you graduated from us. Uh, and he was, he attended a posh uh, school in Dallas. I'm sure the same thing would happen to me if anybody knew who I was. And I'm sure the same thing would happen to me with regard to Emory University, which will be coming up on in a minute here. I'm down, we're going down this, uh, this incredibly posh upper middle class, uh, if not upper class uh, road, There's lots and lots of nice houses. This is the Druid Hills neighborhood. That's the Druid Hills Country Club to my left. You know, I'm good on them for having nice stuff. I'm not. This is not class warfare or anything, but I'm just saying these people are massive hypocrites. A lot of them. Uh, they like having their good things, but but uh, they sure favor a lot of destructive ideologies that have ruined the country, if not the world. And of course, I was once one of the once one of them, but I grew out of that. By, by age 20, whereas most of them stayed exactly the way they are uh, uh, throughout their adult lives. And I'm sure, sure you'll see some virtue signaling road signs here. Of course, we're in the midst of the big, you know, we're cursed here in Georgia. Thank you, Emory Healthcare Workers. Oh, what a good person that is. Um, we we're cursed here in the state of Georgia to have this this infernal election go on even longer. You thought it was over, but it's not over. <laughs> it's even intruding into 20 
21. That's how cursed we are here in the state of Georgia. Yep. I mean, it's a nice neighborhood. Don't get me wrong. This is all very pretty. But I just wanted to record that. I went to the same... Oh, wow. Look at all these. Virtue signal. All these virtue signaling road signs over here. I'm going to crash the car. I'm going to crash the car. We are better than this. You're fired to Trump. <laughs> Hate has no home here. Oh, such good people. Such good people living in these two million dollar homes and telling the world how wonderfully liberal they are. Mm. All right, so Emory University, where I was further groomed, is coming up on the left. I don't know. I, I don't know where John Ossoff went to college. I suspect it was maybe Emory, but I don't know. Maybe it was elsewhere. A lot of Paideia students ended up going to Emory and to other highfalutin, um, upscale colleges and universities. <sighs> All right. Well, I just wanted to take you here since I'm going on my Atlanta travelogue. Uh, with with my little uh, spicy narration taking a trip down memory lane to be fair I did meet some friends that I got to know and some of whom became well I guess one of whom became a lifelong friend uh, at Paideia um, who, whom I'll be seeing tonight actually and if there's Emory University the hallowed halls oh yes Land of more virtue signaling. This is the place, this Emory University is the place where when somebody in 2016 went around and uh, wrote, uh, chalked in uh, Trump Pence uh, 2016, the entire student body had a hissy fit. And it was like, ah, ah, run to your safe space now. We need counseling. This is so awful. Yep, that was my alma mater, Emory University. There it is. I mean, nice buildings. There you go, Emory. I was also born at the Emory University Hospital, so there you go. Anyway, I'm going to switch off now. Talk to y'all soon.